70 inch clean 5x5. Five five. Don, it's a boomer. The following is brought to you by Real Tree Edge. Hunt with an edge. Real Tree Edge. Just broke daylight. Um, it's my second morning in Indiana. I don't know. I had a, a buck with a doe. He was grunting and snort wheezing all over the place. It, it was that dark, though. I think that doe had us pinned. I don't know what my deal was, but the last two mornings, my eyes were watering, my nose was running like a sugar tree, like so bad. And I think it's just gotta be, I'm allergic to deer. And I think some, a little bit of Josh's Kansas buck was on my glove still or something. But the last two mornings, I have been struggling. Anyway, it's a nice, chilly morning. So it's go time. Are you sure? <laughs> 170 inch clean 5x5. Five five. North 40 buck. The North 40 down. buck. Oh my god, I should have shot that deer last year. <laughs> That's the buck that came in and attacked Josh's buck last year, the only morning I didn't go. <laughs> Look at that arrow. That is a good looking arrow. <laughs> Tons of blood there. Blood. Oh, the three. Yes. 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 Oh, I'm so excited. Now, those are the kind of blood trails you want. Right there. Look at this buck, babe. Ooh. He's bigger than I thought he was. Look at those brow tines. I just could not be more happier with this deer. It's just oh, so awesome how it all works out. Like this deer has been in the back of my mind for a whole year now because um, it's the buck that when Josh shot his deer last year in Indiana, this is the guy that came in and attacked Josh's deer afterwards. And um, it was the only morning that I didn't go with him because I was still kind of banged up from my wreck, from my car wreck. and. It sure cost me because I did not shoot a buck in Indiana last year, but it was all worth it because it just gave him another year and he's even bigger and <laughs> I'm just pumped. Just an awesome, gorgeous deer. Man, that's our big nine pointer that we've chased all 
all season. He's been in front of our blind at 10 yards. He's got some fantastic encounters with him. He actually runs a lot of time with the Booner, so hopefully he'll come out tonight or flyer. But the bar bucks out there. He follows us every food plot too. We've had him up here. We actually, the barn buck we encountered um, earlier on during postseason with Kaylee and the blind with us. So, great, beautiful bucks. Thank God they have, the shotgun understand, killed him yet. That's cool. Thank you. Yeah, that's There's a big buck in the draw. Don, it's the booner. Okay. Okay, you ready? Dead on. What a long time coming. Whew. This is awesome. This is actually the target buck that I've been after. I missed him with my bow and redemption. I just shot him with my TC and it's sweet. Yes. Oh. Dang, that feels good. So pumped to put my hand on that buck. It has been a long season. To finish it off with that buck. I'm excited. Don saw him crash right inside the timber, so I'm straight to him. Yes! Look at this giant. Oh my gosh. Get him out of here. Oh, he, my friend, is a stud. Look at him. He is beautiful. What a giant. Beautiful. Look at all the trash. Massive. Oh my gosh. He's a stud. I'm excited. He's got split brow. Sticker off this brow. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous buck. I am super pumped to have taken him with my Thompson Center. Look at that. Oh, God, he's so pretty. He's so limber, I can't hardly hold him up. Oh, I waited all season, hunting hard, every single day since October 1st. And when I did get a crack at him with my bow, how disappointing to miss him. And just to come in here, take him with my TTC, feels so good.
shaking my whole body. I missed that buck. And I don't know, it's a little bit low. But I think it was a good shot. We're gonna give him some time. But I'm cold. <laughs> And I'm so excited. I was shaking so bad I couldn't even hardly enjoy it because I was trying to calm down. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> he got up and ran off. <laughs> no. I see him. I see him. Um. His tines are like this long. <laughs> oh my god. He had the hero in him the whole time. Wow! <laughs> oh my gosh. I cannot believe it. Look at these twos and threes. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh. What an absolute giant. These twos, threes. We have so many pictures of this buck and I am so happy to have my hands on them. We backed out, we gave him plenty of time. We went into town, grabbed a bite to eat. Um, we looked at the, the footage on the big screen and the shot actually looked a lot better than we thought. So that's a good thing. And then um, we came in here and we followed the blood trail to where we last seen him. And the blood trail looks a lot better than we thought it would too. So it's definitely good signs. Um, the last place we seen him was this creek and that's where we followed the blood trail too. Oh yeah. Huh? Look there in front of you. In front of you where? You don't see that big old body laying there? <laughs> no, where? <laughs> better than the door now. Huh? Better than the door now. 
You're freaking me out now. I don't even know where the blood is. <laughs> You're killing me, Small. What? Look right there. Oh my god. <laughs> I told Josh he crashed. I knew I heard him crash and go down. Oh yeah, he's a good one. Well, here he is, guys. My Kansas 2018 buck. I am so pumped. You gotta love Kansas. We came out here a little earlier than normal, um, but the Timbs just wouldn't cooperate. You know, that's kind of how it goes in Kansas. You can't predict the weather, especially out here. But um, we just kept putting our time in, putting the work in, and um, all the activity was at night, but um, we had a front move through, finally. A lot more activity than we've been seeing, but just um, no shooters. Them. And I just got a glimpse of him, and I actually thought it was another smaller buck um, that went down the ridge. I thought it was him at first, and uh, I couldn't see him. He was behind a tree, and Josh was like, oh, no, it's a shooter. So I, <laughs> I was pumped.